Now to that solemn salute for DC police investigator Wayne David. He was killed in an accident while trying to retrieve a gun from a storm drain Wednesday night. Just about four hours ago, David's body was transferred in an emotional procession from the medical examiner's office in DC to a funeral home in District Heights, Maryland. First responders from all over the DMV lining up to pay their respects. And in a WSA 9 exclusive, we're hearing from David's sister. John Duran is live at MPD's Special Operations Division building where a memorial is in place right now to honor the longtime officer. John. Yeah, so much support for David, who spent 25 years as an MPD officer. His sister tells me following in the footsteps of his older brother, who is also an MPD officer for 25 years before retiring. But she tells me friends and family didn't call him Wayne. They knew him as Goldie after DC native Max Julian's character in the movie The Mac from the 1970s. David's older sister tells me Wayne was the youngest of eight children. He was a father. He leaves behind a daughter and a son. In his downtime, she says he was a handyman and a talented cook. And he'd just gotten back from a vacation with his girlfriend in Mexico on Sunday. David's sister says the 51 year old was passionate about helping others. You have a sec. Yeah, she says she can't uh, begin to uh, thank everybody for all the support she's received um, from the mayor to the um, uh, chief of police to just people that have uh, left a comment of support or left a memory on social media uh, about, you know, her brother. And uh, during this difficult time, that's what she says uh, her, her, her family and uh, Wayne David's children need. Uh, at this time coming up at five, we'll tell you more about his impact for his family and friends, as well as uh, this department here, Larry. Well, John, looking at a transcript uh, of that soundbite, I believe we just had a small technical issue there, so we look forward to having that momentarily. Uh, but she calls her brother a humble guy, as you learned in that interview, and that he was committed to serving and helping those around him. So certainly his memory will certainly live on. John Duran, thank you so much. Meanwhile, MPD says that they are still searching for two people in connection with the incident David was investigating. MP MPD, the ATF, and the ATF are working together to offer a reward of up to $50,000 for information about the two men on your screen. Police say that the man on the left tossed the gun that investigator David was trying to retrieve out of a storm drain. They say that the man on the right is the one who helped him get away on his motorcycle. Police haven't said what these charges uh, the two men in fact could face, but police did reveal that the gun's serial number was in fact scratched off.